Hopping straight into it. Stiletto nail tips. Decorations. Then we got our poly gel. Gershon natural pink. McCart the pinky glitter one. And then McCart this kind of misty rose color. These nail tips came from AliExpress. You don't need to see that. Of course I'm going to chop them down because I want them square. We're going to clean them off with some alcohol to get rid of the dust. And the filing was just to get rid of that little tab at the end. And then... We are going to apply this jelly glitter to the tips. So if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you stay a while and welcome to everyone else. I have been obsessed with pink. So this is pretty much going to be an all pink set. I wanted to do a little bit of encapsulation. I've had some of these leftover dried flowers that came from SoCal Nails. Um... Also going to use a little bit of gold foil and then, I don't know, really I'm just chalking these full of stuff. So here you just see me patting this out on the tip. And honestly, I have been looking for square tips with no C-curve. I did buy some recently from Amazon, but I mean, it is a less severe C-curve, but I don't know. Maybe it's just you got to buy the stiletto tips and chop them down in order to get the shape that I like, but... I don't know if anybody knows any square tips that have no C curve. Would you let me know down in the comments? Because I just, I don't know. I think it looks better when I go for long square nails. I just, I don't know. I really like the no C curve. The only time I really like the curve is when I'm doing um, coffin nails. But anyway, just gonna go through and smooth all of these out. next going in with this mylar paper I'm just kind of guessing which ones I want to put in here so we're starting with this kind of peachy sort of it's got like a bit of a purpley gold sort of reflect to it so I'm just kind of sparsely placing that and I made a mistake I did partially cure these before doing this but I mean with the foil or the mylar it doesn't really matter but for the larger pieces I really should have put it into the wet poly gel it would have stuck a lot better but I just kind of switched around and got like a little bit of a deeper color just to add a little bit of dimension. This one's like, a, it's like the first one, but just darker. Like the colors are just a bit stronger in this Mylar paper. All right, next here are the dried flowers. I mean, just scream Valentine to me, but yes. Oh yeah, and then the foil. This foil came from... I think one of the nail supply glamour fall nail art boxes it's like got this almost burnt um like if you took foil and took a lighter to it it's kind of what it looks like it, it has like this bit of a I don't know just this burnt effect that kind of turns some of the foil purple so I don't know but you can't really see it too much when you actually use it but I don't know I know it's there but yes these flowers definitely would have been much better applied to wet poly gel so I don't know I was just nervous about messing the nails up and then like the poly gel gets warm and then starts moving all over the place so I don't know I thought if I just cured it for a little while it would still be sticky enough to do it but yeah the flowers kind of didn't end up working out in the end but they're so pretty but you can see like they're not really they're kind of like this faded color they're not really pink but these little pieces, those did make it because they are flatter, more like paper. So they stuck pretty well. because 
I wanted to use some hollow. Originally I had pulled out the larger butterflies, but I knew I wasn't gonna have space for those. So I just got these smaller little hollow butterflies and we're just gonna, oh, excuse me. We're gonna sparsely place those in there just for a little bit of glitz and sparkle. And then after a full cure, I'm gonna apply my cuticle color. This is that cover pink, natural pink, natural pink by Gershon. And I'm just gonna use that to cover up my nail bed. And then we're gonna very gradually fade that up just to kind of uh, create an ombre. curing that layer then we're going in with encapsulation and I chose to use this misty pink just because I wanted to keep that pink theme throughout but uh, I don't know it kind of ended up obscuring the decorations a little more than I wanted to like you saw how sparkly these were before and I feel like a lot of that was taken away just by the foggy color of this poly gel so if I had to do it again a Put the decorations into wet poly gel layer and to just use a clear poly gel if you want the nails to sparkle more. another full cure we're gonna go into the filing portion I've got my Melody Susie dust collector here and I'm using the Enel Couture metal file I think it's called the magic file something like that but actually the the actual file is from Amazon because when I bought the little replacement sand part the sandpaper part they were out of the metal file so I don't know I waited for a while and it was just never in stock so I just bought a metal file off of Amazon but then I switch over to my coarse sanding band to just smooth the surface of these out once I have straightened the sidewalls
once I'm happy with that and cleaning the nails off with some alcohol, we're going to go into the decoration portion. And I had these little butterfly um, rhinestones that I've had for a while, never really found a use for them, but I thought they would be very pretty with this. So those were kind of the main star. And then I used some of these pink and white opal stones. And then I threw in a few ABs, but this was really just a freestyle set. I end up doing sort of like a a bit of a snaky sort of thing on the two middle fingers. And then I use some really tiny emerald stones on the pinky and the pointer. And then I do like a little, another little snake up the entire nail on the thumb. So I don't know, I was just kind of going with the flow and figuring out something that looked pretty with these. a 60 second cure I'm gonna go in with my crazy top and use that to seal my rhinestones as well as top coat the nails and here is the finished result I really love the way these turned out. I kept them on for a couple days, but mostly I was just obsessed with the shape of these. Ugh, I just love that square. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then give me a like and a comment down below. And until next time.